Hello, brothers and sisters. It's uh, Brother Trey here again. Uh, we are on day 17 of our 22 days of the Hebrew count, uh, the Hebrew alphabet. Uh, today's letter is Pe, which is spelled P-E. And it's in Psalm chapter 119, or starting at verse 129. And it reads... Thy testimonies are wonderful, therefore does my soul keep them. The entrance of thy words give, gives light. It gives understanding unto, unto the simple. I opened my mouth and panted, for I long for thy commandments. Look thou upon me, and be merciful unto me, as thou used to do unto those that love thy name. Order thy steps in thy word, or order my steps in thy word, and let not any iniquity have dominion over me. Deliver me from the oppression of man, so will I keep thy precepts. Make thy face to shine upon thy servant, and teach me thy statutes. Rivers of, rivers of waters run down mine eyes, because they keep, they keep not thy law. Now verse 129 again says, Thy testimonies are wonderful, therefore does my soul keep them. And here he's just saying how wonderful the goodness of God is. He, t he has a good witness and testimony of God in his life. He says it's a wonderful testimony is wonderful. And therefore he, they, he holds on, he keeps them, his soul keeps them, that he holds on to them into his heart, into his inner man. Because he just loves the testimonies of God. Uh, verse one hundred and thirty says, "The entrance of my word of thy words gives light; it gives understanding unto the simple." Mm. Um, entrance uh, the entrance of thy word gives light. You know, it brings revelation. It makes things more clear. Like he says, it gives understanding understanding to the simple. It gives answers. Gives reasons, explain or you know, comes to understanding and knowledge of the unexplained. Uh, verse one hundred thirty-one says, "I opened my mouth and panted, for I long for thy commandments." Now he's just he's saying he's waiting. On 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 the word of the Lord, he's waiting for waiting for the Lord's commands. He's waiting to be directed from for um, give it given direction from the Lord and what to do. And he's waiting patiently, but he seems like he's um been waiting for a long time. One, uh, verse 132 says, Look thou upon me, and be merciful unto me, as thou used to do unto those that love thy name. And he's asking the Lord just to be merciful to him again, um, as he looks as he looks upon him. Uh, and he, he uh, gives an example of, of uh, old times, when people used to love love God, used to love His name, you know, He He was merciful unto them. And they were obedient, and uh, maybe He blessed them because they were obedient and that they loved they loved Him and they loved Him and He loved He loved them because of the, um, not only because of His children, but they were obedient and, and where they were in a. Uh, relationship with him. Uh, verse 133 says, Order my steps in thy word and let not any, 
not, let not any iniquity have dominion over me. He's asking the Lord, asking the Lord to um, guide his steps according to the word of God. And he's saying, asking the Lord to direct him in the path of righteousness. And he's asking, he's pleading with the Lord to not let, um, don't let any sin have um, control him. Have you know, uh, control his time, control his, maybe control his mind, his thoughts, um, take over his mind, like where he's continually thinking about those things, you know, and committing those sins, you know, you know, a lot of times we need, I believe we need to be the same ways, like ask the Lord to direct our steps and maybe ask the Lord to not let Sin had dominion over us. You know, we got to have the Lord's help to take control of thoughts that may not be pure. May not have, uh, or they may, they may not be pure. They may not be um, right. They may not be true. You know, it's just, uh, we just, you know, we pray and ask the Lord to help guide our steps. Uh, help to take control of our thoughts. Um, so that we can um, live a live a, a uh, pure and uh, fruitful life. Let's see. Uh, verse 134 says, Deliver me from the oppression oppression of man, so I will keep thy precepts. And he's asking the Lord again to deliver him from the oppression of man. So I really don't know what kind of man this is. Maybe maybe it's King David. Maybe he's it's time, maybe a time when he's dealing with Saul, or maybe it's a time when he's dealing with his enemies around about. Maybe the Philistines, for instance, or something like that. Because most of David's life, he was in, he was fleeing Saul, or he was in battle somehow. So, and many, and and he had to deal with uh, Absalom, his son. So maybe he was going through something like that. He says, uh, "Deliver me from those who oppress me." You know, Absalom absolutely did oppress King David. It's all absolutely did oppress David as well. Um, so he says, I will keep thy precepts. So maybe just it would help him if the Lord delivered him so he can continue to keep the Lord's word. Uh, verse 135 says, Make thy face to shine upon my, thy servant and teach me thy statutes. So make that face to shine upon thy servant. He's asking the Lord to look at him. You know, maybe the servant, the servant definitely wouldn't be able to look upon him face to face, but um, he's asking for the Lord to shine upon, to shine upon, to look at him. Um, may he be gracious to him. Um, gracious unto him and teach him st- uh, more of the Lord's statutes. Uh, verse, and verse 136, which is the last verse, uh, rivers of waters run down my eyes because they keep not that long. So, um, rivers of waters run down his his eyes. So he's, he's weeping, he's sobbing. Um, he's sobbing for um, that the, maybe the Lord would have mercy, but also because you know he's saddened by it because they don't keep his law that they don't keep his law, and he doesn't. He is um, being empathetic, or you know, just his heart's kind of breaking 
for the ones not keeping God's law because, like, he knows the consequences. He knows that the Lord, if they don't repent, then the Lord's going to have judgment upon them. And they could pop, and they would, will die and spend eternity in hell. I mean, that's what, that's what Jesus did. Jesus in the garden, he, he saw, he weeped, he, he was weeping while he was praying. He was travailing in prayer for, um, in prayer in the, in the garden of Gethsemane, Gethsemane before he was, before he was taken, after he was betrayed, um, like he was weeping, uh, tears as if they were blood. So he was travailing. He was, you know, hard pressed in prayer for, I think it, it would be, uh, for all, for all mankind. And he was pressed in prayer. And that was, and that was his, uh, and he was weeping for us because that, because he didn't want us to, he didn't want us to, uh, Uh, receive damnation because we don't keep the law of God. We don't. He just really, yeah, he just uh, really, um, you know, pushed in the spiritual realm with, in prayer and as he travailed in prayer, you know, because uh, he loves us so much. And then, there on after, you know, he was betrayed, um, crucified, died, and was buried. Uh, ascended to hell on the third day, he rose again from the dead, according to the scriptures. Then he ascended to heaven, and then now sits at the right hand, right hand of God the Father. And uh, he is, you know, he is the truth of the way and the life, and he is the only way to, only way to to get to the Father. And he is the word of God made manifest. So if we have Jesus, if we keep Jesus, if we if we have faith in, in Jesus Christ, faith that Jesus Christ is Lord, we shall be saved. We'll be saved from eternity in hell. So if you don't know Jesus Christ is the Lord and Savior, uh. Uh, do the ABCs of, uh, and you don't want to spend an eternity in hell. Uh, do the ABCs of salvation, which is admit you're a savior and need of a savior, or admit you're a sinner and need of a savior. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and call upon the name of the Lord and you shall be saved. Now this is the end of the uh, section. Uh, and tomorrow, I will, tomorrow's uh, letter is Zadi, I think that's how you say it, it's T-Z-A-D-D-I, um, that'll be for day, day number 18 of 22 of the Hebrew alphabet, so uh, be blessed, um, I know I didn't stay on here long today, uh, again, um, if you have any comments, I mean, it's a Bible study, so we are we can teach each other during a Bible study. Um, maybe somebody had a revelation during during this Bible study. Um, maybe the Lord told them something. So please leave something in the comments below if the Lord speaks to you. If you say something. Um, and uh, I would appreciate that very much. Um, again, be blessed. I'll see you tomorrow. And have a wonderful evening.